20% off, 75% off, 85% off. These are all discounts that I've gotten by shopping at Bestier Collective. I really, really like shopping there because you can buy stuff from all over the world that's really good quality. So I'm gonna show you a few things that I've picked up over the past few months in different categories. For example, I've got jackets, I've got shoes, I've got all kinds of things. Um, but a few disclaimers before we get started. One is that a lot of these are basic pieces. Also, a disproportionate amount of this stuff is from French brands. Before we get started, I should introduce myself. My name is Camelia Brook, and I make videos about shopping for timeless fashion. So if you like classic pieces that you're likely to keep around for a long time, you might want to consider subscribing. Also give this video a thumbs up if you like the topic. Um, it's a new channel, so that'll, it'll really help me with YouTube's algorithm. Without further ado, let's get into it. So this is a very classic bag. It's been around for decades. Um, it matches with everything because it's all black. And the reason I got it is that I wanted something really big that would fit a lot of stuff and it was also durable. So this bag here, it really fits everything. I take it with me to the grocery store. I can put my groceries inside of it. Um, I take it to work. I can put my 13 inch MacBook in here. I can put a book in here, a sweater, etc. Um, also, if you're going traveling, I think that this is an awesome traveling bag. Maybe not during Corona, but hopefully afterwards. It's also very durable. Like it's made with nylon, so that means that it's waterproof. And if you get something on it, you can easily just wipe it off. Like for example, one of my first days wearing this bag out, I got sunscreen stains on it. I was easily able to clean it. If it had been a leather bag, I would have ruined it. So I think it's a great bag and one that a lot of women can benefit from having in their closet. Here is a sad example of a fail that I had. Super cute skirt. I love the pattern. I love the buttons down the side. Very nice length. I could see it being a staple in my wardrobe if it fit. But sadly, I did not pay close enough attention to the measurements. Like, as much as I wish it fit me, it really doesn't. So pay attention to your measurements before you shop. And on top of that, if anything, size up so that there's an opportunity to take it in if it's too small. If it's too small, it's a lot higher, it's a lot harder to make it bigger. I really love this black linen Isabel Meron blazer that I got. It's a relatively large and oversized fit, which I like. By the way, when you're shopping for blazers online, so much easier to buy an oversized fit. I was looking for a blazer that was relatively casual, and for that reason, I really liked that this one was made out of linen. It looks good over a very basic outfit, it just dresses it up a little bit, or if it's a little bit cold outside and you want to be warmer, pair it over top of your outfit. Maybe not in the winter, but in the fall or the spring. If you're looking for more of a statement jacket, then you might like something like this one by Iro. This one has a houndstooth pattern, which again has been stylish for a super long time. So it's actually pretty classic, even though it's a statement jacket. And it keeps you warm because it's wool. And again, I think it's the type of jacket that can really just make a basic outfit look more stylish. Next up, we have this Gucci sweater and it's super, super soft. Um, I got it vintage, which means that it has staying power, I hope. I figure if it's, been a long, if it's been around for a long, long time, then it's more likely to last and stay nice for a long time as well. And this one I paid $150 for, which is like a tenth of what a new cashmere Gucci cardigan would cost in stores. So it's super basic, super practical. It's just a little cardigan and you can really pair it over top of anything if you're feeling cold. Um, it's really lightweight, so it's easy to transport, and I think it's something that I'm gonna love and enjoy wearing for a very long time. We have this shirt, and I'm gonna take off this cardigan so you can get a better look at it. So I thought it was really cute. It had kind of a 1950s vintage style. It's a cream color, it's got, um, oh, it's got a wool body and then silk sleeves and a silk collar. So again, I think it's really timeless. I think that it's a really cute basic and I really recommend checking out the brand Manouche. Um, they make a lot of like really fun, quirky statement pieces. So you might fun find something really special that you love from them. Again, I'm gonna leave a link down below if you wanna check it out. 
The next item I'm going to show you is also a classic. It's a pair of Levi's 501 jeans in 100% cotton. I already have some Levi's jeans, but the 501s, which I really love, unfortunately, they stretch out a lot for me. So they're perfect when I, when I take them out of the wash and I put them on, but throughout the day, they start to get baggy and they start not to look as good. I really wanted to get a pair of non-stretch jeans that would always look good no matter what. And I found a pair on Vestier Collective. They were, I think, 40% off of what they cost in the store. I really like this pair because they have a high waist, they have a straight legs, so they're super classic. So I personally, I wouldn't recommend getting jeans online most of the time. If you don't believe me, you can check out my Levi's jeans haul, which I'm gonna leave linked down below. They're a type of item where you really need to get the fit right. So if you try on a pair of Levi's somewhere else, then you might wanna consider going on Vestier Collective once you know what size you need and then buying a pair for a lot less money. If you're into vintage Levi's, they also have a lot of really great vintage pairs. And then on top of that, I find it hard to find the 100% cotton version in the stores. Like most of the ones I see have a lot of stretch in them. So Vestier Collective is a great place to look 100% cotton, no stretch. Some people like raw denim, some people don't. Personally, I like it because I find that it looks really good and it's durable and it's nice how it doesn't stretch out and it always fits you and always looks good throughout time. So for that reason, I was really interested in trying the brand APC. They're known for making really, really nice, high quality raw denim jeans. And I was really excited to find this skirt on Vestier Collective. I think the wash is really beautiful. The denim, it feels really sturdy and really strong. And I like that it's a bit of a longer length because it means that I can wear it to more places. Like for example, I can wear it to work, whereas with a mini skirt, I couldn't. Because I did my research, I need to look for a size 26. Normally I'm a size 25, but with APC you should size up. Overall, I think it's really nice. It makes me feel really polished when I wear it. I got it in perfect condition for about 40% off of what it costs on the APC website. Someone who likes to wear ballet flats a lot. And I was really, really excited when I came across a Rapetto flats on Vestier Collective. I had done my research. I know that you're supposed to size up with these, so I got a size 40 and a half when I'm usually a 39 and a half. And they do fit a bit big, but with an insole, they're perfect. But I think that these are great ballet flats, first of all, because they're comfortable, but second of all, because they're just a little bit more stylish than a lot of the ones that you see. I think that the toe is really pretty, and then you've got a little bit of a heel. If you like them too, you can find so many on Vestier Collective. So I'm gonna leave links down below. One of my fails was this really beautiful pair of loafers by Crockett and Jones. So they're known for being a very, very good, high quality shoemaker. So I was really hopeful about getting a classic pair of loafers designed by them. Unfortunately, they do not fit. I've taken them, I've taken them to a cobbler to get them repaired. I've tried to stretch them out by walking and wearing them in, but nothing works. They just don't fit. So lesson learned. I think that when you're shopping for shoes online, first of all, do your research to know how they're supposed to fit. And then second of all, remember that it's always easier to take something in than to make it bigger. So lesson learned, don't make my mistake. If you're unsure about which item to start shopping for first, I'm gonna recommend sweaters or jeans because I have a couple of videos that I think might help you with that. One is a sweater guide, which I'm gonna leave linked down below. And the other one is a jeans haul. Also, if you want a thorough review on what it's like to shop at Vestier Collective, I'm gonna leave a link to that video as well. So, thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see more videos like this, please click the subscribe button and also give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Hope to see you next time.